All right, y'all, it is that time. If you recognize these steps, you know what we're doing. We are buying a pallet today, and it is going to be a sports pallet. Hopefully we can finish it today, but we will see. I'll get back to you. Here it is, beautiful and ugly at the same time. We'll have to see what we find in here. We're gonna fill these two buckets up today, and uh, we'll see, as you can see, it's, it's very dirty, but Everything needs a good cleaning and it's definitely worth it at the end. Last time we did about 500 in sales from 150 and uh, it was worth the time and everything. It was definitely worth it. Yes. Ooh. Damn. So oh, this is a great example of what we hear most of the time. Oh. All right, and then we found our first pair of Lulu lemon. Still got the tag. And uh, there's nothing wrong with them except they're extremely wrinkly. So that's a good 30 bucks, 40 bucks right there. And we're already getting our money back. We're not even a quarter way in. All right, Rosie found something. My side, my side. Is this Steelers? Okay, who's on the back, who's on the back? Bush. Not sure who that is. So something like this. Champion. Beep, beep, beep. We'll take it. Something like this. Random pin. No, no, no. <laughs> Got an Adidas pair of shorts. Would have been a good grab if they did not stretch this wide. <laughs> How's that? Too trash. All right, we're actually a quarter ways in. And I found this very unique piece that you don't see often. So with Levi's uh, Olympics USA t-shirt. Kind of small. Looks like a vintage medium. It's a ringer tee and a single stitch. Pretty good condition. We're going to take this and this would do good in a booth or the flea market. Pretty cool though. Tempting to take to the flea market, but uh, I don't think it will sell. <laughs> That's a crazy print. All right, y'all, so we're just gonna review this real quick. Um, so we do get jerseys and uh, they can be fake. So this is a perfect example of a very obvious fake jersey. Three stripes for Adidas. It's questionable. It's probably fake. Obviously, there's no tag, so this one's a dead giveaway. But there's others that, you know, are a little harder to read. Uh, they have a regular tag, and this isn't as bad looking. But this one is definitely a, a very bad fake, so we're going to have to toss that in the trash. Okay, so I pulled out another jersey, very similar in color. And let's take a look. It's got the Adidas stamping. But then, look at this fishiness. Look at how close the eye is. Look at that stitch right there. The stripes are correct. This is not. Then This just looks off. Very off. So to the trash as well. This one smells like piss. Buckets. So we are about halfway, a bucket and a half full, and a massive trash can. All right, and we are here. Let's get started and see how it goes. All right, the buckets are getting full, so we're doing pretty okay. And here are some examples of just ugly stuff that we find ourselves. You know, this guy is full of paint. You see a lot of wrinkly stuff, discolored stuff. There's a lot of stuff with holes and practically torn apart i don't know what that is you know i found some hair like it is a little bit dirty 
but after a good wash all the good stuff is actually definitely worth it and uh, you know you get lucky or you don't so we're doing okay i think the last one was a little bit better but we're not even all the way done yet so let's see how it goes All right, and we ran through this palette in two days, which is pretty okay. The second day I did do it solo. And here I am just showing off the rest of the stuff. Um, overall, I would say about 70%, maybe 80% of the things in this palette were torn, had paint stains, had holes, something was going on and it wasn't working. But you know, we're still gonna be able to make a profit and that's what's good at the end of the day. Uh, I had a lot of fun besides the smells, besides everything else. And uh, yeah, we'll get to the breakdown in just a bit here. All right, on to the next process, washing. Thankfully, we're doing it right after we just finished the palette. And then after washing, sorting, eBay and flea market. So we took our time in the washeteria. You know, we could have been a little quicker, but we didn't want to lose track of our loads. Uh, so I say we took all together, washateria, sorting, everything, right about 12 to 15 hours because I still have to sort everything for the flea market. About to add 10 more, we're at $50 of washing. Our total investment is now at $200 and I did find this dime while washing. So now we're at $200 minus 10 cents. So like I said, you know, this is a game of luck as well. Um, I found money before in my first ever palette, which I have on my channel. And uh, in the other palette, I believe I found some other change and stuff like that. All right. What was that, five bags? good on to the next part sorting for the flea market all right y'all so we're done with the washateria time to get these bags and then move them over to process them and uh, this takes a good hour or two it just depends we don't have as much as last time but this should take a while and uh, we're just going to sort them by shorts tops women's men's kids just different categories and then stuff for eBay and then stuff that we're gonna price up and uh, put on racks. The other stuff just goes to a dollar table. All right, so here we are sorting. We had a little help and uh, we have all the bags labeled by category. I will get bigger bags, but this is what I have right now. So right here, this is a pile of projects. My pile of projects, stuff like this, you know, and then it's got a big old hole in it. Well, I can, I can save this, you know, I can cut a little patch out and I can sell it in our vendor booth. Eventually, I just have a collection of patches for 50 cents. Somebody will want that. You know, I, I hate to see all these things go to waste. And you know, this is my form of recycling or just rescuing an item in some form, uh, you know, because technically this was all probably a penny each. Anyway, so we have stuff that uh, we're gonna probably keep just one or two things and then some other stuff that we mixed in. And then right here, as we can see, our eBay pile is very small compared to the last one. If you check out our last video, we had a bigger eBay pile. There's about 10 items here. We have one more bag. The last one, we had about 30 plus items. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but either way, we're making profit off of this pallet. It's just not amazing as last time. So then as we can see here, we got, we have polos labeled. We have jackets, pants, we have kids clothes, women's tops, leggings. We have shorts, we have men's tops as well. Everything is as organized as we can get it because when you have a flea market booth, it's easier to just have people know what they're looking for. You know, we, we kind of guide them to what they need to find. They find it and it's easier for them to buy stuff. And a lot of this stuff in the bags is probably just gonna be a dollar or less, you know? And uh, it's just bulk to get rid of. So this is our hanger bag, it's very small. And uh, this will probably just be $2 to $3 items. Nothing crazy here. 
So as I said, uh, this pallet is not as great, but it was still fun. And uh, you know, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. We have one more bag to finish right here. And then we will go ahead and just update you and see, you know, what the outcome is, how many things are going on eBay and how many things are going to the flea market. Let's see, we got some pants, Nike pants. So we finished this off in about a good two hours or less. Uh, thankfully, I had a little help to sort out things. And uh, if you all were wondering what is the top seller from one of these pallets, uh, besides name brands like Nike and Adidas, I happen to sell basketball shorts the best out of these pallets. So that's what I always look for when we buy these. Oh, oh. don't do me on that. Oh, what the hell? That is going in the trash. All right, check out these. One of my favorite items that I found, an early 2000s pair of Adidas Laker shorts. Let's get a little view of that. Wow. These were in pretty good condition. I believe I can toss these on eBay. Very nice and unique, a size large, nice and baggy. That's gonna be a perfect keyword. Post these up, probably get like 15 to $30. They're not in amazing condition. They got a couple of snags there, but they're very nice. Look at that. Awesome stuff there. Okay. So we are here at the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed and truly understand the process. Maybe in the next one, I can go a little more into depth. Uh, but I did want to do a better summary than any of the other palette videos that I've done. And I feel like this breaks it down a little bit more because I'm getting the hang of it to make this process a lot quicker. So as we can see, all of these are labeled. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, I believe. 19 bags that are going to be going to the flea market. Majority have dollar items in there and a majority have more than 15 items in each bag. So I'm going to go on the low end at $100 or 100 pieces. There's a couple things that are $2. There's a couple things that are $3. Uh, so all in all, I think this is at least $150, you know, probably more. And of course, everything needs to sell. So that's the initial investment not including the washing and drying so then that's where the ebay stuff comes in handy and uh you know we have a very small pile of ebay things i will show that in the next video here but uh pretty much we got lululemon we have some special adidas jerseys uh, we have the adidas shorts the lakers ones and just other unique items just uh not much right not much but i would say each item average we're getting at least 20 dollars a piece there's about 10 items so 10 times 20 that's another you know 150 200 so so far it looks like we're just gonna double but you know there's probably a few more items in here so we're definitely gonna do a little bit more than double and uh unfortunately it wasn't amazing as last one but i'm not gonna give up on my people they hook it up all the time and it's like i said a lot of fun uh besides all the other factors uh you know this one was really dirty and, and kind of i feel like i needed a mask for this one so i do appreciate you guys watching this video you know, hopefully, hopefully we'll do a different uh, palette here and uh, hopefully it'll be a lot better. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If this is your first time watching a palette video, I have a couple more and uh, you can go ahead and check those out in my videos. Uh, the, my first ever palette I did uh, buy for $110 and I found $94 in there. And uh, yeah, that was pretty sweet. So we're going to go ahead and send this to the flea market and we will update you guys on the sales in the near future here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.